pictures are beautiful. So, um, I have some questions on just relationships with classmates. You guys live together, so just bond. What kind of we were in? Did you yeah, know we were in. Time? We were in a uh, dorm. It's an old apartment house. It's up here on Hope Street, what, what was called Moore Hall, and uh, we initially when we moved in, there was two to a room, and we had a bath, and uh, we came to the hospital for all our meals. There was a small room that was kind of a kitchen, and we'd have uh, night meals or something like that. You know, you could go down for a snack, but uh, yeah, it was. To do. We had a house mother. Um, they were on duty 24 hours a day, so it was, it was always somebody there. Uh, what kind of rules did they impose on you in the ha in the living situation? Oh, wait, the, probably the only rule we had was we had study hours during the semesters when we had classes, and so we had to be study hours was 7:30 to 9:30. We had to be in at 10:30, so. We could be out from 9.30 to 10.30. And there was an ice cream parlor, Punch and Judy, then. And it was down here on Washington. And we'd quite often walk over between 9.30 and 10.30 to Punch and Judy's, get ice cream, and then come back. And the boxing arena was right down here by the freeway. It's now, I just discovered, it's now some church. But anyway, it was, it was where they had boxing. we forever have to walk through all those crowds to get back to the dorm. But that's, that was the dorm. Um, we had student body, uh, student government, um, student governments of the various nursing schools did meet together and got to the point where they had some national conventions for students. Um, let's see, student body, we had class officers as well. Every uh, year we had a junior senior banquet in the junior class took the seniors out to dinner before graduation. We had doctors that were kind of sponsors of a class and would take you out for dinner. And then uh, we had instructors or somebody that was the advisor. And one doctor was quite popular because he was active with the uh, Light Opera Association. So whenever he was free, then the kids took him because he'd always take them to the Light Opera. <laughs> so. He was very, Dr. Quinn was very popular. Um, let's see, what else was student body? Oh, one of the things that was significant in the 40s and the 50s was we had a box at the Hollywood Bowl. And it was for every night the bowl was open, which is different than nowadays. You know, you buy a ticket for a series. But then we had tickets for that. And we, we during the summer, we worked 7 to 12, 7 a.m. to 12 noon. And then we were off till 3.30. And then 3.30 we came back on duty and worked till 7. That way we got the patients fed and halfway ready for bed. And we'd come up back off from work and the house mother would say, oh, the tickets are free at the Hollywood Bowl. So nobody used them. So a bunch of us would run upstairs and change our clothes to go to Hollywood Bowl. So I, we did that a lot. Um, we had, did have a month of vacation off during the summer. Otherwise, we were here working or we were in classes.